Hey moms, as what is said on the title of this video, this is a comparison of the IKEA Antelope high chair and the Orbo Cocoon high chair and an explanation as to why we sold our Orbo Cocoon, choosing the much much affordable IKEA high chair over it. So here they are side by side and I'm going to start with the good things about the Orbo Cocoon. First will definitely be the design. I love minimalist designs and neutral colors. We bought this way back 2018 and the colors available were brown, gray, purple, and orange. Recently, they added more colors which are super gorgeous like pink, green, blue, yellow. Uh, it's also very modern looking and very aesthetic. I love how it supposedly grows with the baby. It has three recline positions so it can be used from the time the baby is a newborn as a newborn cot where he can take naps while you eat. Uh, it can also be a baby recliner for when the baby is a little older and he's awake and you'd like for him to hang out with everyone at the dinner table but he's not old enough to sit up and eat yet. Uh, so you can also do that. And when your baby is finally eating, he can sit on this chair with its table to eat. You can also use it as his dinner table seat since you can adjust the height to match how high or how low your dining table is. It has six height adjustments and a detachable footrest. If you won't be using the tray, you can use the small food or cup holder or push the chair close to the dinner table with the rest of the family. Just make sure to put the seat belts on. There is a five point harness available, which is important for the babies and is adjustable with this mechanism under the seat liner. It does come with a waterproof seat pad, which matches the color of the tray. The table can be adjusted whether you want it to be near your baby or you want a little space in between. It is detachable which you can stow at the magnetic base behind the chair and the tray is removable and dishwasher safe. To store the high chair you can fold it this way and it has two rear wheels so you can roll it into a corner. Now the reasons why we stopped using it even if it has all of these cool features is number one, it is actually very difficult to clean. At first it looks like it is really easy and convenient to clean, but no. The design has too many creases and crevices and small holes where food and ants can hide. So um, with my first baby, we tried to let him feed himself and it becomes understandably messy. He would wipe his hands on the side so the food and sauces get in between this area and under the tray, under the table, and crumbs also fall and get under the seat liner which is incredibly tedious to clean. When we decided to clean the whole chair with water because ants started crawling and hiding into the unreachable holes underneath the seat. Uh, the water pooled inside and it was so difficult to, to drain which caused the screws to rust. Um, yes, the tray is easy to clean but the more important areas are impossible to clean. Even the seat belts were difficult to adjust and to clean because of the mechanism of how it is attached. It's also easy to wipe the other exterior parts of the chair, but despite doing that, the white parts slowly became discolored and became yellow. Quite disappointing for its price given one of the best selling points for me was the white and neutral aesthetic. Like mentioned earlier, it already comes with a seat liner that is advertised as soft and made of safe rubber, but it is actually quite hard. So when our baby was only a few months old, it wasn't comfortable to lie on. We had to fold a comforter or a thick blanket to cushion the baby's body against the seat which is not 100% safe because it's making buckling up difficult. The Orbo Cocoon seat liner which fits perfectly complete with slits where the buckles can slide out is too expensive in my opinion. Another thing is about the footrest which for me is important however it is not adjustable. So for a long time my baby's feet would just dangle until he got tall enough to reach the footrest. And then I should mention that this thing is heavy. It's one of the most common bad review on websites I see. It has wheels in front, which makes it easy to move forward, but not backward. So you need to lift it up a little to move it around the house and it is really heavy. Some of the other bad reviews I found online were about how it doesn't help the posture of the baby because they're not able to sit completely upright, I guess because of the footrest, but also because they're almost always slouching because of the shape of the chair itself. And there is another review of this chair I found online where the legs actually broke and the baby was actually hurt. Personally, I did not experience this, but 
or Bell did reach out to me after around a year of using our high chair to send us leg replacements for safety purposes. It did not break while we were using it, but the original legs that came with our purchased high chair was probably of bad quality. Now let's go to the reason why we chose the IKEA Antelope high chair. The features are so few, the price is far more cheaper, and it's very simple, but for just $20, it works. The Orbo Cocoon is $200 more expensive. The color is simple, it's white and gray, but it's also available in pink and blue. The material it is made of is easy to clean and the white areas don't turn into yellow. It's very lightweight, making it easy to move around. And it can also be brought to another room, to the second floor, to the outside, to the third floor, or whatever, or even to another house easily because it's not heavy at all. The tray may also be removed, but I honestly haven't done it ever because it's so difficult to remove. This may be one of the disadvantages, but for me, it is not a disadvantage because it's safer that way, you know, for the baby to never fall off the high chair and because the tray has been easy to clean without removing it anyway. It's also been easy to put baby in and out of the chair without needing to remove the tray. The seat belts are also very simple and straightforward, no complicated mechanism and adjustment procedures. You can see it dangling, you can clean it easily. The chair cannot be used for babies who cannot sit up very well just yet, like uh, six months and below. But honestly, it's just much, much safer to put the baby in the crib or on the bed compared to a high chair turned into a newborn recliner anyway. So when we started using this, my baby was already sitting up well, so I didn't mind the hard plastic surface of the chair. But if you want it to be cushioned, the seat liners are available in IKEA or in other online stores for a very affordable price. It doesn't have any other features unlike the Orable one, like its height being adjustable or it being foldable. But for me, this IKEA high chair's height is pretty standard to most tables, so I don't need the adjustment feature anyway. And every after meal time, we just leave it on the table together with the other adult chairs instead of constantly putting it away. It also doesn't come with a footrest, but I found one online which only cost me around $6 and it is adjustable. Maybe it's not the sturdiest out there, but for now my baby is 14 months old and she has never fallen from it. If you allow your baby to stand on it, then that's not safe at all. I'm pretty sure this chair will hurt your child, but as long as you keep an eye on your child and she's buckled up well, the tray is put on correctly, it should be fine. There are probably other high chairs out there which can be better, but for the price and given the aesthetic and functionality, I think this is already perfect for us. I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know your thoughts below.